Hello fellow Chibis, this is Catching Fire 3 with Weird Cat Dating Sim and heads up, Weird Cat is an 18 plus Twitter page who if you're 18 up and just go check her out if you're not then uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> as far as I know there's no nudity but we'll get to it when we get to it. <clears throat> my phone's alarm rings loudly in my ears, waking me up for the third time in a row. I slide my arm up to turn the alarm off again. Oh, God. But instead, I accidentally knock it off of the bed and onto the floor, somehow turning it off. Ugh. My head pounds with pain as I try to recover from my nightmare. When I first moved to Narlis, I started having these really odd dreams. I never seem to remember exactly what happened in them. I just know that they're crazy as all hell with flashing lights, mixing colors, all that stuff. Waking up with a nasty headache and... V I'm going to tell them. They spelled vague wrong. Memories of a terrifying dream is one of the worst ways to start a day. I sit on my bed for a bit longer to try and lessen my migraine any way I could. I pick up my phone and check the time. The moment I look at the clock, my body fills with dread. Oh, I guess it's time to go to work, right, 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 right. Oh, shit, I'm going to miss the bus. Oh, no, it's school. Even better. I jump out of my bed and rush to my closet. I put on my jacket as well as my school outfit. <coughs> I check myself out in the mirror and give myself a cocky wink and finger guns. Hey. <laughs> After putting on my clothes, I walk to the bathroom to try and lessen my brain pain. That's weird brain pain. So, my grandmothers. I open the medicine cabinet and first some, search for some ibuprofen, which shouldn't be hard since I stocked up on extra bottles shortly after I moved. Why would you? St I, okay, I don't know why you would stock up on ibuprofen. Finding one of the bottles, I dump a few pills into my hand and my train of thought is derailed by my phone vibrating. I swallow the pills and open my phone to see who's texting me. Yo, where the hell are you? You're gonna miss the bus. I know, I know, I slept past my alarms. Ah, uh, again? Whatever, just hurry up. I don't want to be alone on the bus again. Uh, I'll be there in a bit. See you soon. I should probably get a snack before I leave. What should I get? I open the pantry and look around for something quick to eat. What should I pick? Oh! I don't like Pop-Tarts or Fruit Bars, so of course Gushers. I open the pack of Gushers and pour the entire pack into my mouth before heading outside. <clears throat> there's Weird Cat, there's her fursona. There you are, there you are, what took you so long? Yeah, sorry about that, this will be the last time that happens, I promise. <laughs> wow, that, uh, that's a disappointing gaze. You said that yesterday. Oh, uh oh. <sighs> At least you didn't pull out some BS story about a crazy yet forgettable dream. But whatever, you didn't miss the bus like on Monday, so I guess that's a start. And speaking of bus, seemingly coming out of nowhere, the bus stops right in front of me and Weird Cat. The door swings open and Weird Cat gestures towards the entrance. Shall we? We shall, I guess. I walk in first and Weird Cat comes in after me. I walk over to an empty seat and sit down. Weird Cat sits in the seat adjacent to me and plays on her phone. I wonder what game she's playing. My body rocks slightly as the bus drives from the stop. I rest my head on my hand as I look out the window. After a few minutes of waiting, my eyes start to feel really heavy. Soon they close fully and I accidentally fall asleep. I open my eyes after a couple of seconds of silence. I look around, confused about where I am. Then I put two and two together and realize that I fell asleep. Oh shit! My body tenses up as it braces for the oncoming, incoming, oncoming, incoming. I guess those both work. Shitstorm. But nothing happens. There's not even anything around me. The only thing I can feel is a cold breeze for some odd reason. I nervously and slowly relax my body. This is strange to say the least. The tone of the dream changed dramatically. Though the change was unexpected and confusing as it would be if you have the same type of dream all the time. It was also a welcome and relieving one. I stood around for a couple more minutes before I got bored and sat down. 
I fidget with my hands until I either wake up or something happens. So now all I can do is wait. And wait. And wait until I eventually wake. And I, uh... Huh? What the hell was that? My head shoots up looking around frantically to see where that sound came from. Uh, hello? Is someone there? Yeah, God, yeah. I stand up and look around wildly. This is crazy. I didn't think it was going to be this weird of a dream. I can't locate where it's coming from, nor should you, nor can I understand what they're saying. Who is that? Where are you? What? Did you tell me to wake? Oh, I didn't see that. Hold on. Go back for a second. Ah! <laughs> No way, hold on. <laughs> what? I'm jolted awake by Weird Cat who seems more than pissed. Of course I had to wake up when I started to make sense of what they were saying. We're here. Oh, I must have fallen asleep or something. You did. I tried waking you up for three whole minutes. R really? Uh, I look out of one of the windows. Sure enough, we made it to the school. <clears throat> Jeez, my bad. I'm a bit of a heavy sleeper. Yeah, no kidding. Now come on, we're gonna be late. This is probably the weirdest game I can play because it's based off of a Twitter artist, but I guess they said it was okay, so I'm not too weirded out. Weird Cat quickly, quickly walks out of the bus. I grab my backpack and follow her into the school. What is this? Uh, field egg group, mostly mammal. Oh, I, uh, I hope field was spelled wrong on purpose. I think it's I E, not E I. But I could be wrong. Uh, base stat HP, water based biology, move set. Oh, must be. Okay, I get it. I sit down on my desk while Weird Cat sits in the desk a few rows behind me. Oh my god, that is. That is amazing. That is probably my new favorite teacher drawing. The, the legs with the body. Oh my god. That I'm not even joking. I haven't played this game yet. Because it just came out at uh, 52 minutes ago. It's 5.52pm on March 5th, 2021. <clears throat> Good morning, class. Today we will be learning about math. I try listening to the teacher talk, but I almost immediately space out and ignore basically everything he's saying. And then he disappears. I start to daydream about the daydream I just had. I have very mixed feelings and emotions. Such as scared and, and tired. The main thing I'm feeling is confusion. Maybe my dreams will be like that for a while. I, God, you could only hope, but who knows. Or maybe whoever's doing this to me feels sorry and wanted to give me a break. Or maybe I... Uh, hey! Huh, what? No spacing out in my class. This is your first and last warning. Next time will be detention. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, where was I? The teacher continues to talk, this time paying more attention to you than anyone else. I sit through class doing the minimum amount of work to look busy. Soon enough, class ends. So after you divide the two... Oh, that's the bell. <laughs> he he called it immediately. It's like he was looking at the clock. Remember, the test is next week, so remember to study. I grab my things and prepare to leave the classroom when he grabs my shoulder. Wait for it. Or not. I would have thought I got a stern talking to. I begin my perilous journey to the exit. Oh, hi, weird cat. Oh, look at, look at this design, though. I would have never thought... Yeah, this is actually how she draws, too. Or how they draw. I wouldn't say she because uh, I'm not sure what their pronouns are. So, basically, they have this art style, so I'm guessing they drew it. But before I was able to take a single step, I got stopped by Weird Cat. Hey! H hey, what's up? I uh, wanted to ask you something. Oh, what is it? Do you uh, want to... Uh, uh, yeah, there's an awkward silence, uh, what, I, I, n never mind, bye, 
Where cat fa fast rocks out of the school? Well, it's a dating sim, so we already know what she was gonna ask, anyways. Uh, okay, buy I guess. The awkwardness of the situation leaves a pit in my stomach. What did she want to ask me? I continue walking out of the school, trying to ignore what just happened. And there's my room again. What if this is her room? That'd be interesting if it's based off her room. Or their room. You know what? Real quick. I'm gonna go... To her page. Okay, so she goes with any pronoun, so it doesn't matter. I can say she all I want. When I get home, I toss my stuff on the floor and sit at my desk. I thought that was my phone for a second. Jesus. While I'm in the middle of a game, my phone begins to vibrate. I pick it up to see who's texting me. Hey, sorry if I was acting really weird after class. I was going to ask you something, but I... I forgot. Oh, well, that's fine. Hopefully you'll be able to remember tomorrow. Yeah, I probably will. Anyways, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'll talk to you later. After a couple of hours, I get... Uh, after a couple of hours, I get too tired to keep my eyes open. I turn off my PC and get into bed. Imagine the player you play as is also... Fucking, uh... Weird cat. I'm... Back. Back in the void I was in earlier today? I know there's no question mark, but it's liberties, you know. Wait, maybe that one person will talk to me again. Last time we talked, I couldn't understand a word they were saying because of the static and constant cutouts. So I guess until then, I'll have to wait again. But luckily for me, spelled luckily wrong, there's an I before the L. I won't have to wait. Hello? Can you, can you hear me? To my surprise, they returned. This time, I can actually hear their voice and understand what they're saying. And now that I can make out their voice, I can hear what they sound like. They sound feminine and somewhat familiar. The place around me also changes to something more pleasing for the eyes. I... Yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, thank fucking God. You have no idea how long it took for me to establish this connection or the shit I had to deal with when getting a better one. I swear to God, if I have to deal with one more problem, I'm going to fly off the handle. I'm going to do some sort of acrobatic fucking peer away off the... I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I, I get the gist. Off the handle and win like a trophy or some shit. That garbage took so long. Sorry I wasn't able to get in touch with you sooner. But whatever, that's not important right now. How... How have you been, man? Are you okay? What did they do to you? I thought you fucking died, dude. Uh, what are you talking about? I... Huh? What do you mean, what am I talking about? She sounds very concerned and confused. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. And what... Was that about me dying? Or are you thinking I was dead? What the heck is that all about? Y you... You seriously don't remember what happened? Like two weeks ago? I mean, kinda. I hung out with Weird Cat, we smoked a bit, then I went home and talked to some internet peeps. I don't see how that's so important. Jesus Christ, this is worse than I thought. I'm pretty sure this is like a fucking situation four? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, a what? Situation four? What is that? Can't tell you, but what I can tell you, however, is that I'm here to help you get out. So, this is actually a pretty good game so far. I wonder how long it'll be. Hmm. <coughs> get out of where? My town's just fine. My house is near perfect. Sure, school sucks, but not enough for me to want to leave. No, I mean... She sighs. I can hear slight anger with hint of defeat. Of course, you don't fucking know. Why would you know? You're the one who's being... <laughs> she starts to talk under her breath, which slowly devolves into her mumbling very angrily to herself. The only words I can make out are obscenities. Okay, fucking whatever. Long story short, I'm here to help you, and you should listen to everything I say. 
That also means you have to promise me something. Promise you something? Yeah, and why do you keep repeating what I say? It's kind of annoying. Repeating what you... Uh... I, I think it's just a nervous thing. I don't know. Sure. Whatever. I need you to promise me that you will trust what I say from now on and you have to do what I say. Can you do that for me? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I get it. You just met me. I'm throwing a lot of shit at you. You don't even know who I am anymore, but whatever. Oh, I want to say it's Weird Cat because I did see something that looked like it could have been Weird Cat from another dimension or something. I'm looking at the background right now. I don't know how this is pleasing. Well, yeah. your, co your cooperation is very vital to the plan. If you don't listen to what I say or do what I say to do, then you're fucked and so are we. So, do you trust me? Oh yeah, also, link to this game will be down in the description along with the Twitter of both Weird Cat and the guy who made this. I take a minute to think about the question. I've only known this person for a day or so. Not even a day. And now they're asking me to trust them? I take a deep breath to clear my mind and... I... Yeah, I trust you. Out of blind faith, I trust the mysterious disembodied voice. Which is not a really good thing to do. In, in real life, any situation where there's a disembodied voice, don't trust it. Just go the opposite way. But since this is a game, and it... It's already going out like this, so it doesn't matter. Why I did this, I could not answer you. Okay, whew. Glad we got that over with. Well, with all that settled, any questions? I won't be able to answer some, though. Why not? Er, I mean, why not? Well, you'll either not believe me, or you'll trigger an emotional overdrive and fuck everything up. It sounds like me doing anything wrong can fuck everything up. And what's an emotional overdrive? Me describing what it is could cause one, so I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. Well, that's dumb. Tell me about it. Shit, that's your alarm, right? Yeah, does that mean we won't be able to talk anymore? She begins to type something. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. From what I can see, you'll be waking up in a few minutes, meaning that we'll be able to talk for a bit longer. So as I said before, do you have any questions? Uh, why do you want to help me? What happened two weeks ago? Who are you? Hmm. Well, since I can't tell you my actual name, I'll have to come up with a nickname or something. How about V? Sure, I guess that's... Isn't that an... Isn't that name a bit unoriginal? Suck my dick. V's a cool-ass name. Jeez, okay. So, anything else? What happened two weeks ago? Can't tell you that. Sorry. Damn. Anything else? What do you want me to help me? Wait, what did that say? You're very valuable to both, both us and them. We need you for power, they need you for power. What's the difference between your power and their power? And who's they? Can't tell you, next question. What's the plan? It's a set of instructions we need you to do for us. I'll tell you more when you wake up. Wait, you can be in the real world too? What? No, I'm gonna leave something with the instructions on it, you doof. Oh, well, then how do you plan on giving me the instructions if you can't be here? Hmm, good question. I haven't put much thought into it. I'll think of something, though. Anything else? I don't have any more questions because there's no more. Perfect. Now, the next time you wake up, things will be a bit different. I want to know what different is. Come on. I can't get too deep into it, though, but the changes aren't that drastic. Well, drastic for us, not for you. Uh, okay. Well, see you later. And by later, I mean probably tomorrow. Well, I guess that's the end of our time together. Talk to you later, dude. Oh, I almost forgot. Try your hardest to re What? I wake up suddenly missing what she was about to say. The rude awakening makes me jump slightly. Click. Questions and confusion surge through my head like an aggravated power line. I know if I remembered something like that, I'd be pretty aggravated and confused, I guess. She thought I died? I don't even know who the heck she was or why was she acting like we've known each other for a while. Or who are they? What the hell is an emotional overdrive <laughs> overload? And then just emotional overload right then. Or was any of that real? Or was my imagination playing tricks on me and all of, all of that was actually a dream? 
I'll probably never know, nor will I ever get a straight answer from her if I asked. I grabbed my phone to check the time. Huh? It's 6 a.m. on a Saturday. That's weird. I could have sworn it was Thursday yesterday. I guess I haven't been keeping good track of the days. I say that to myself for no reason. I brush off the dream. Whoa, shit! He, I slip on a piece of paper and fall on my back really hard, knocking the wind out of me. Ow. Huh? The paper I slept on has writing on it. I picked it up and read. Good morning, dude. Alright, so here's the dealio. When you wake up, text Weird Cat immediately. More instructions will appear as you finish your tasks. Don't fuck this up. V. The note's short, but it gets straight to the point. I toss the paper under my bed and text Weird Cat. Good morning, did you sleep well? Apparently she already texted me. I did, what about you? I slept really well, thanks for asking. So, if you don't mind me asking, do you have any plans for today? Hmm, nope, I'm totally free for the weekend. Good, I uh, remembered what I was going to ask you yesterday. Really? What was it? Do you wanna go out on a date? You can say no if you don't want to. It's just a suggestion. I stare at my phone for a bit. I've had a crush on Weird Cat ever since we were kids, and now she's asking me out on a date. This is my chance. Watch me say no or something. So... Yeah, I'd love to go on a date with you. Really? Awesome! I thought you were going to say no for a second. So where do you want to go? Lunch? Lunch. How about Lunch. Me and Weird Cat quickly head back to my place where things get hot and heavy. Oh, jeez. Shit's so hot, I, it'd cause global warming. Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Oh, I, I love that. That's a great joke. Who knew sex with an anthropomorphic pink cat could be this great? Sorry, I, I didn't want to say that to you. And after about one whole hour, we fall asleep in each other's arms. I wake up in the middle of the night to my computer turned on. I swear I turned off the monitors before I left last night. Carefully, I pull myself out of bed wearing nothing but my underwear and a bra on my head. The light from the PC is almost blinding, so I make sure to pluck the light with my body as to not wake up Weird Cat. My eyes lock onto the time displayed in a widget on my desktop. 4.57 a.m. What? What is this? I say that as my mouth ho mouse hovers over a file called readme.txt. I double click the document. Holy shit, you did it. I can't believe I doubted you for a second. Okay, so you know how y I told you to have your phone connected to your PC? Well, that's because, as I read the last word, my phone vibrates. I pick it up and notice a new app was installed. It's called Connection. Of course, curiosity takes over me and I open the app. The screen flashes for a bit before switching to the messaging app. Hello, are you getting these? Check one, two, check one, two. Weird cat, but you're asleep. How are you texting me? Really, dude? Seriously, put two and t two together, dude. It's not that hard. Yes, it's it, it, the weird. You're in a dream world. You're in a coma or something. V? Damn, Skippy. So, why did you want me to connect my phone to my computer? Isn't it obvious? I needed to download this app onto your phone so I can talk to you while you're awake. Oh, well, what do I do now? Right, uh, you need to take her somewhere secluded. And kill her? Oh, no. Uh, okay, where would be a good place? Hmm. Oh, I know, take her to the forest close to your house. Say so you want to go on a walk or something or some cute shit like I love the sunrise or whatever. W will, will do, I guess? Why the forest? I'll explain that later. Just go to bed and keep this in the back of your head. I'll be in touch soon. Well. Uh, pause real quick. I wonder how long this game goes for. I, uh, I checked how long I've been doing this for. The app closes itself. I stare at my phone for a bit before shrugging. 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 I don't mean to make fun of it. This person is probably a great person, but not a strong student in spelling. Turning off my monitors and crawling back into bed. If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor.